My love for algebra stems back to my freshman year of high school. The one thing that I vividly remember from my algebra class is the equation y equals mx plus b. This form is the typical way to represent a line with an equation and simplifies graphing the line on a coordinate plane. Of course, there are many other important equations that I also remember, but this one is the basis for many others. First, let's go through the different variables. m is the slope of the line, b is the y-intercept, and the x and y represent any point on the line. Wow, it seems like a lot of information. Okay, let's go back. m, which is the slope, can be found by using two points on the line. The slope is also known as rise over run and can be found by taking the difference in y's divided by the difference in x's. The b is the y-intercept, which is the coordinate point where the line crosses the y-axis. The x and y are always left as variables in the equation of the line. The x represents all possible inputs for the equation, and the y represents the corresponding outputs for the equation. Oh! This one small equation is what gave me the inspiration to pursue math education as my major. It began with my algebra teacher, Mrs. Higgins, and continued through my freshman year as I began to tutor my friends who were in her class as well. As I helped my friends understand this equation, I began to realize that teaching would be the perfect career for me. Then, at the beginning of my junior year, Mrs. Higgins asked me to be a freshman algebra mentor. I decided to take on this challenge, and during my junior and senior year, I gave up my lunch and homeroom period in order to tutor algebra students. I also stayed late on many occasions to tutor these same students outside of class. I also had the opportunity to tutor some of the students one-on-one -on -one who were doing poorly on the exams. I would look over previous tests with them to see what their weaknesses were and then give them some test-taking advice that I had learned throughout high school. This experience was important to me because it proved, without a doubt, that I would be happy teaching high school math for the rest of my life. I also gained many friends that I still keep in contact with, and these same students still contact me when they have questions about math. This simple linear equation is one that I will never forget, and it is so much more than math to me. It's my future. Seven,